All right, what's up, Yins, guys? Show you one of my favorite video games here. This is the PC version. Um, but I've seen people do their Let's Plays, like on the uh, earlier Xbox. I think it was Xbox 360, if I'm not mistaken. But um, this is the version I got. You can get it relatively cheap on Amazon and other sites right now. But um, one of my favorite games... And now, uh, before I ever bought it, it was like way back, I think, years ago, I think 2012 or something like that, um, there was this um, Let's Play uh, dude uh, from England, uh, 666 The Heartless, uh, I think the YouTube channel was still active, but he hasn't been active for long. I he actually played this, and I watched his Let's Play, and he also played a game called Haunting Ground, which, it's a rare game you can buy, they should reissue it, and he played that too, but, anyway, um, Edward Carnby, my kind of guy, my kind of guy, Edward Carnby, uh, waking up this morning was a fucking mistake, and, uh, and the uh, fuck yous he, uh, used when, um, confronting zombies, like, I ain't got your stone, and fuck you anyway, but anyway, yeah, my thing with the game, if I, you were to twist my arm and say what can be done better, and say they uh, can do better, when you're like, uh, you're able to uh, go into taxi cabs, abandoned taxi cabs, and police cars, and all that, right, but my thing is, you only have a handgun, and you have your uh, bottle of what, uh, uh, let's play, dude, that I told you about. We called it explosive orange juice. <laughs> kind of funny, but yeah, you'd think when you're able to go in police cars and and uh, get items and all that, get a pack of bullets and anything else you find in the glove compartment, you get to drive a police car. You'd think you'd be able to get, other than, you know, you could upgrade your handgun like halfway into the game in one area, but you'd think with all the police cars that you uh, can go and drive and run over zombies with, that you'd be able to wield a police issue shotgun and shotgun shells but no um that's one thing i could have done better but the fire looks burning buildings and everything uh post-apocalyptic scenario with zombies running around the fire looks really real the uh, zombies are kind of funny there was one zombie in there that kind of uh growls a little bit like Beavis and Beavis and Butthead. It goes, eh, eh, like, kind of makes me laugh a little bit. But I had some old footage where I took pieces of play in the game where I I have a video, I think it's still up, a real old video called The Chicken Shit Way of Getting Past Particular Zombies. Like, uh, then uh, I was running over zombies with cars and all that. But yeah, it's a real fun game. There's things that could have done been done better. But I still love this game. Yeah, Edward Carnby's the man. Uh, uh, Foul-mouthed and hilarious. That's what I'm basically my one of my all-time favorite game collect uh, collectors. One of my all-time favorite game characters. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I think I want to get myself some software, kind of like uh, for recording and all that, and do a let's play of this one of these days here. And I'm updating my channel. I was talking about back in the day when I was doing some recording, they had fraps. You were able to get a lot of stuff free recording software when Pirate Bay used to be active. But yeah, some dude, when I was talking about my other video game I featured, Fur Fighters, I, I left this com comment still on there. He said there's this other uh, game recording software. If you want to record Let's Plays, it's a free software. I'll have to look into that, but. Anyway, I love this game. One of my other favorite um, video game players, I think, uh, they did the PlayStation version, which was the half-ass, a lot, a lot of us call it the half-ass version of the game, because if you ever seen the, if you never seen it, go look up Let's Plays on YouTube and look up the Alone in the Dark, the uh, PlayStation 2 version. It's... It kind of sucks. It's nothing like the uh, this version here, the PC version, the Xbox version. They changed the game characters quite a lot, and uh, the zombies and the whole gameplay. You don't get to run around Central Park like in this game, and uh, 
They even made Edward Carnby almost with his leather jacket almost look a little like the Fawns. But other than that, it's a pretty good, damn good game. One of my favorites. But uh, -huh. yeah, but that's one of the only games that I've seen where, when they made it for PlayStation Two, they totally half-assed it. I mean, but anyway, that's all I got on that. Um, just figure, give you a little talk on it.